You ever seen that movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Well, this sure looks like a place it could have happened at.
joking y'all we are in Esteline, Texas. Little town of about 300 people. And this is the old Esteline schoolhouse. School. I think they shut this thing down probably in the, I don't know, probably 60s or 70s. What we're doing Unloading some hay. Jerry's truck. Uncle Adam. Jerry over there standing by my truck. Yeah. Thought I'd come over here and walk through here. I ain't been through here since I was a kid. My grandparents owned a beer store, liquor store. Actually, it's just a beer store because that way they could open up on Sundays. If you sold liquor, you had to be closed on Sundays back in the day. But this town, like I said, only has about 300 people in it. And they closed this school down long ago. You kind of had the choice here if you live in this town. You need to go to school in Memphis, where I live, or you can go to school in Childers, which is a Quite a bit bigger town than Memphis and uh, it's 15 miles either way depending on which one you want to go to but, right there looks like where all those trees are grown up where the basketball court and all that used to be outside but yeah we're just hauling some hay today we got seven loads to haul and I think we'll probably get four, maybe five of them done today. We're on two, number two. Uh, we hauled the first two. We got to go back to the field where we loaded that first and load one more. Then we got to load our loader back up, take it over to another field, and we're going to load one, maybe two more loads today. And those, we got one more to bring back to this spot. And we got four to haul over by the house. And we'll, hopefully we'll get two back over by the house. We might just get one. I don't... I don't know, we'll just see how the day goes. But I can't really tell over here. I was about to walk in there. Let's go ahead and walk in there. Hell, we got a minute. Walk in here and see what they got going on. I was gonna step on the dang rattlesnake. We don't need that. Yeah, this looks like where it used to be probably playground yeah there's a basketball go right there you go. got some cactus growing on the basketball court you want to fall into that would you Another basketball go up there in them trees. Bunch of cactus right here. Y'all wanna see me slam dunk it? Hell, we might have to make a whole video of just walking through this old creepy school one day. That's what we're doing, y'all. Hauling some hay, living the dream. Private property, keep out. Taking this old boy a minute to unload too, a little slow. Slow going, slow going. It ain't as bad as what I hear a lot of my YouTube brothers talk about though, about how long they got to sit at places and wait to unload. So one thing good about this ag stuff, in and out, in and out. Make that money. And I don't know if I got ball wire fence here. We got some, some of this old prickly pear cactus. Oh, get around. 
this uh this field's full of grass burrs too y'all y'all see them right here them little suckers will jack you up i'm gonna get back over here see what we've got going on and we'll get unloaded and we'll catch y'all later Sitting there, I was like, you know what? I 
pretty cool to go walk around and check it out. That's a little bit of that, uh, uh, man, down the road, man, stay on the road. Uh, that's a little bit of that, y'all see these narrow, narrow roads, man, the shoulder drops off. Get off on it, it's gonna yank your butt over. Uh, did a little bit of uh, old George, old Jorge over there. Did a little exploring, so. Uh, hope y'all like that. And uh, the rest of the day, it's just gonna be B-roll and uh, B-roll and time-lapse footage. So, uh, keep it fresh. Uh, been uh, seen a lot of comments on my last video. Uh, who's your favorite YouTube trucker? Got a lot of great comments from a lot of great folks. So uh, appreciate y'all who have commented and uh, appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Got a lot of compliments and man, I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, channels, channel is growing. We're growing slowly but surely, slowly but surely. But uh, like I said, I do this for a lot of fun and just for it's a hobby and. Uh, I don't know, just kind of looked into it, like doing it. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll keep, we'll just keep on keeping on as long as we can. Like Joe Dirt says, keep on keeping on. Y'all know that's one of my favorite sayings. So hell, we're gonna roll on up into this field. I'm about a quarter mile from the entrance. Uh, looks like I can see Jerry's truck up there. Looks like, uh, looks like they're just about to finish up loading it. Yeah, we'll get her all strapped down, get that loader loaded up, and uh, we'll finish out at the other field today. Probably, uh, it's just gonna be some B roll. I'll probably do a little sign off at the end of the day and kind of talk about what all happened from here on out. And uh, we'll catch y'all in a little bit. 806 Driver.
children of the corn shit right here, y'all. <laughs> bell load load up here up here on top you see i ran my straps he loaded me up with them while ago and i got every one of them put across on there loosely these gaps here once i see i already tightened the very back strap up but as you tighten them up those gaps will come together and it'll square everything up you just get everything as square as possible and uh and that's that. We got one more bell to put on right there in that corner. Put that strap on. Get down there and start fixing everything up. Yeah. We'll catch y'all here in a minute. Here he comes with the last bell right there. See y'all in a bit. What's up, guys? Well, we made it in. Right to the yard. We're gonna go unload this load of hay in the morning. We got four total loads of the seven done today. I hauled two, Jerry's hauled two. Good old Texas Tech. Looking tiny, looking tiny, tiny, tiny. Yep, we made it in. Everything looking good. Um, we're gonna take off a little early tomorrow. We gotta roll out about 3.30 to be at Bubba's football game. Driving up to Booker, Texas, take on the Kiowas. And That's about it. Um, do have a funeral to go to Saturday. My grandmother had passed away. She's been sick for a little while. Passed away yesterday on Wednesday. So we have a funeral Saturday. About to go home, take a shower, and go hang out with my dad for a little bit. He's been down here taking care of her. He lives in Amarillo. She had still lived here, so. But, uh, so, prayers go out to uh, my dad and my uncles. So, but anyway, try not to be too, too down on here. Well, uh, we're about to sign off for today. It was hot. We'd had some pretty cool days, and it hot today got to about 95 so let's do the same thing tomorrow so we're gonna go with about 10 miles outside of town to unload this load 
and then we got to run back over there about 60 miles to pick up this uh i'm gonna pick up one more i think tomorrow and bring it over here uncle adam and jerry they're way over here way over there see the tops of their trucks they're gonna go back on the rock hall tomorrow in amarillo burger de amarillo i'm gonna knock this out so hell i guess without further ado y'all know what we do about this time keep the shiny side up and the hammer down and we'll catch y'all on the next one 806 driver we out